Merlin. 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 To Merlin. Matt, you might have to move. We won't be able to see you. Hmm? You might have to move. We won't be able to see you. How is he the one we can't see? Because his head is like two feet tall. We can only see his chin. Okay, that's fair. Like a whole seat. Like a whole seat. Do you have to switch with her? Or do I have to go this way? Which way do I need to go? Probably that way. This way. If okay. if she wants to switch. Um, would it help if he switched with me? Or am I just Adam? Uh, only if we'd want to see the back of his head. Then no. He <laughs> needs to be like front and center. Rachel! Yeah? Can we switch spots? That's fine. Swippity swapping.
actually the people that were there before us they actually installed a uh, range booster in the house, so it's already there. Uh, the ag they have the internet set up to where it's installed in the basement, so the tool will be mm -hmm. so sort of in it. What class are you? Fighter. Okay. And I think, alright, I could debate that the charisma is more important than the intelligence. Unless that's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, my character's intelligence Just cause, like, is not so, all anything right, at all. Here's my thing about intelligence, is that intelligence is like a basically wizard-only skill. You already, you already convinced me. Like, if you look at like what <laughs> intelligence <laughs> actually affects, intelligence only affects, like, yeah. this, like there's Another like a small character. list of skills, there's like no saving throws almost, you know? <sighs> well, being, being charismatic, you know, it's a little rough not being charismatic, because then that's when things are just like, oh no. Okay, I'm a dumb character too. Where's he like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. I'm weak. <laughs> I'm no. weak. Spry. Did you get help? Like, oh, it's like, look at you all the stuff plus. that's intelligence. Still right. doesn't it's affect my armor, that's all that matters. Can you get like that's intelligence insane. saving throws? And the change. thing with, you don't want wisdom to be low, wisdom's wisdom your perception. Don't worry, yeah, I don't have the front. your help. Dexterity. So unless your armor. fucking your crib has the wow. bullshit luck of Rachel. Wow. Thank you. What well, I have oh, to push it right now. Oh, those are your crazy. Sing your hopes you don't. I really hope oh. you do. Oh. I'm sorry. I hope you do. It's the ammo, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What's this young man who stops right now? You, guys, you guys know your race bonuses? Yeah. So it's plus one to the stats for me. Yeah. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Humans get that plus one on Earth yeah. now. Okay. So technically, I'm not bad. I'm <laughs> still really stupid. <laughs> What is it? Sentient? A sentient life form has like four. Yeah, I think it's. I'm barely sentient. Three. That's just your cannon. Damn. Damn. You just like to hit shit with a sword. <laughs> I just become dumber as I play. <laughs> like, I mean, he's dumber sure. than Narabar. You can play like What's your character? He's a fighter. You play like a berserker. Well, it's, it's a lot easier to be a dumber than it is being ugly. But I don't picture his RP as stupid. So <laughs> it'll just be like. He has common sense, but he can't do like anything. Well, I mean, he could just be smart in battle. I mean, that, that could just be Street the smart. point. Yeah. Tactician. He's just tactician, but just well, not idiot otherwise. I mean, hey, you can switch him and feel like you'd be better the other way. It's uh, just, you know. I trust D and D gods. For for, for a long time, it's <laughs> just like you, you're just gonna be fighting with that charisma, but that intelligence is not gonna fight you about at any point, mm -hmm. other than. Is he all good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just hate intelligence. <laughs> it's all most useless. Oh, it came in! Oof! Oh. He came in! Wait, it came in early. Is it safe to touch? Yeah. Okay. Wait, oh, you, how long did it take you to order it off? Oh! Okay. Look, that's what the, if you're looking at it, that's what the steel is. Oh! Really? Mm -hmm. It yeah. says Rufus on the bottom. Yeah. I want that. Dude, it looks so good. It, it has more detail than I thought it would for being steel. They said okay. it was going to be lower detail. It looks so but good. It How long did that take to, to make? It, it was like two weeks. Really? Or less. I might buy that. How yeah. much do you spend on it? 35 That's not bad, then. No. For as good it. as it looks, and they like ground all the extra little edges off mostly. Wow. Like, it came out really good. From here to Forge? Mm hmm. It, it was worth the $35. Oh, awesome. Honest to God. I have so many builds, I'm just like, do I buy them? You should I know, buy at least I one. know. It's like, it's oh. so sparkly. It's, it's got a bronze, they infuse it with bronze to finish it. Oh. You can have Josh paint. You're like, get yeah, maybe. You have a cat. Yeah, man, it doesn't it's even like, need paint. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I don't even know if I was going to say, I wouldn't paint, paint that. that. That one looks good yeah. on its own. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, I have it, it's like my portrait and everything. Order like one hour. It's like, yeah. Yeah, like eighty dollars more than like the actual price of it. I like it. Or, I mean, taking the supports off ain't too bad. You just gotta watch out once you get to the gym or mm. other areas, you know. Mm -hmm. It's best to just like take pliers and then just kind of like squeeze all of them together and then just kind of like rip out what you can. Yeah, and that's the sad thing. I have all the tools. It just so takes... I just forgot it's gonna have the supports. I'm just like, oh yeah, it's gonna be boom done. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's especially for that one. I'm not gonna do the supports and mess them up, so that's on you. <laughs> uh, I understand that. It's what I hate though is like I can see his leg, I can see like his cape and shoulders and his shield, and I just want to dig the rest out, but I can't. Yeah. I'll be ready. You're gonna last so much. Yeah. Uh, before we begin, rules. 
So, for the war point, uh, 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 uh. is that the way you want it to go? So, so it, that sounds perfectly fine to me. Okay, so just so everybody knows, healing spells will not affect John. <laughs> um, because his no, AC is also no. high, because your strength is so stupid, because you have immunity to poison and resistance to something else. Immunity to disease, 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 and you don't, yeah, you can't, you can't be put to sleep. He doesn't need to eat or drink. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> that one, stop listening to That things. one's less concerning. No, I, um, I mean, you, you for rest, say, that's really cool. Yeah. I so, still need to like, go offline for six hours, though. Yeah, you to still have the to rest. So, so is it like a like elven trance kind of? Kind of. He's, just it, offline. Yeah, like, he's offline. But I, I'm still like aware of everything. I can still hear, see, and like I, like, I know what's going on around me, Nita. But I just like can't move. Can I but for staff? healing, because it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my own healing spells work on me. Why we have rockies here? Because your paladin was a cool hands. Okay. Um, and you can use what are they called? Okay. Not thieves' toolkit. I'm all <laughs> staffed. <laughs> you all ready to be staffed. No, it's not a medicine kit. Well, he could use a medicine kit like make poison if he rolled high enough. Whatever the the toolkit. Oh, is. Less medicine kit. Yeah. You can carry one of those, mm -hmm. and we'll okay. say you can heal from that. We'll say that's that's like a one to ten or something. We'll make it up when you get there. Okay. And then you have to roll for the amount of healing you get. Yeah, and no, no buffs. You don't get buffs from anything. Damn. So that'll be straight. And then mending. If anybody uses mending on you, that'll be a straight. I don't. Hold on. I don't get buffs from everyone else, like to my rolls or like. Not my healing. Oh, then. Okay. No, it, all of the wow. all other spells, okay. except that, for I guess flesh of living ones. Will... So like, if it sounds natural, that it wouldn't apply to a robot. Yeah. So we'll, so we'll say mending, and whatever toolkits that I'm thinking of that I can't think of. I actually think you have <laughs> one in your inventory. What? My it's, toolkit? Yeah. Yeah. It's I have, so, I have a smith else, kit. Somebody else has one. Also, to be noted, the Warforged will probably have a refined version in like three weeks because yeah. they finally released the Eberron, which is what it'll be in. Well, the first Eberron for the season or whatever. You three three weeks, did you say? Awesome. Yeah, it's like it's the 18th, mm -hmm. I think. Jimmy Parkinson's? Yeah, yeah the doll diapers. Because that's whenever Jimmy the Waterborn Dragon Heist or whatever comes out. Uh, and that's. Ravnica will be out shortly. Okay. Huh? And then that's when all the Eberron stuff is going to actually get put in bullets. So, <laughs> and the toolkits will both be 1d8, no, like, bosses. Okay. So, really early on. The idea behind that is he'll be really good early on, but later on in the game, he'll, have, he'll absolutely get nothing from the healing. And you said 1d8? Except, except your land has. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as far as perception and insight and investigation checks go, we're going to have one, and then there'll be a cooldown. Not like, well, I want to look at the map. Well, I want to look at the map. Well, I want to look at the map. Me and you and that. So, yeah. We're going to annoy the DM. Right? We're going to annoy the DM. Until you get the whole smoke. Then I'll kill you. Fuck. Yeah. Permit death. Yeah. Permit deed. So well, you can't you, kill we'll do disease. one, and then somebody can say, well, I'm going to help them. <laughs> With something, and, and then, now you can kill me with my like twenty armor. You can't give him damn twenty. We'll throw an advantage. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to do the double ones death? No. no. Actually, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Two knows one yeah. Actually, no. I mean, no. You guys, actually, yeah. How no. often do you have advantage? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how often do you have advantage slash <laughs> disadvantage, and then also it is literally the the five percent of five percent. I mean, you don't, this group though. Alright, so can, <laughs> I was gonna say, can we play the waiting game on this group? group? No. Like, see how our rolls are and then we have to. How do you feel? I've been moving the yeah, I mean, you know, great out here. How many times you gotta scream? If you guys, guys want to try and roll two ones, I'll find a way to kill you. <laughs> but if we don't want that to be a roll, then it won't be a roll. So I've got three no's. I'm gonna say no. No. That's the majority then. Well, I want to Brock's not here, so. Brock, Brock Colorific. All right, Brock. He's the Brock. I didn't make it out to the polls. He's the Brock. Just Did saying. Say no. what happened. What's what's going on with him? Probably crumbs. I guess, but he hasn't he hasn't hit me back. Me neither. <laughs> he, I've been worried. Yeah. Oh, Double one game. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. I still want it. So it's not making it easy. Oh, no. There you go. What about three ones? Is that that? <laughs> I'll bet you to roll three. <laughs> I mean, that one managed to roll five. So, I mean, <laughs> you never know. Alright, so what if it's like three ones in a row into death, but like two ones in a row? No. Um, yeah. So five percent of five percent of five percent, like it's a thing that could happen, dude. It's, it's happened. Yeah. I was gonna say it. It could totally happen. It's happened. It, it's happened. So on, That's why I lost the dice. On the level up, on the level up, when we're choosing how to increase HP, you guys want so you, you can either roll or you can take your base average and add your con modifier. If you guys want it to be a roll, if you roll a one or a two, you can just re-roll. Because that's like that's like uh, no. It's like, uh, right. in the A17. And we're doing milestone, correct? Right? It is milestone. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, good. Just... So, Brock oh. isn't here, but yeah, if you take too long, you lose your turn. <laughs> if you take, if you take uh, 20 minutes, <laughs> if, if you go like, oh, jeez, well, I have advantage on like 10 different things, what am I going to do? Right, let them know you gotta have your stuff ready before your turn comes just up. Just count them down like I did. Start Magic missile. Just, yeah. Unless unless they're playing like an AOE sorcerer, then that shit does get kind of nutty. Yeah, I know, but, <laughs> but I know he's not. Twenty though. minutes for Magic <laughs> Missile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Magic Missile. It's like Rocky, yeah, you know what you're gonna use. You got you got seven turns ahead of you to look forward to things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Poor leveling Brock. up this milestone. Alright, bitches. <gasps> Is we ready? Yeah. Yes. Fortresses and fiends. Let's fucking get it. Is that what it's called? Fortresses yeah. and fiends. I like it. Session one. Now I'm gonna <laughs> overanalyze the whole title like all night trying to figure Where out what the fuck we're gonna fight. Well, there might be a fortress. Take all the things. There might be a fiend. There might be fiends. Team Is that fortress. Wait. Fortress? 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 fortress and fiends. And then we're gonna be fighting nothing but like giants. Before we start. <laughs> Should we at least update them about the one shot? And how that went? Yeah, how did that go? If you guys want to talk about it, we can. I was, it was a okay, good one. I don't even know if to stream it, so it like, that really, sucked. No. Yeah, we couldn't stream it for some reason. So. I mean, did you guys yeah. enjoy it? Mm -hmm. I mean, what was that one camera? I can't remember his name. Little, little Nichols? Little yeah. Nichols? Little Nichols? Can you, can you do his voice again? No. Please? No. Wait, never do that again. Maybe if he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was it was a little Nikki parody. Oh, you told me about yeah, that. He was, he was the arena uh, guy. <laughs> Bring us into it. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. I like that. Oh, I know. Freddy is like the worst part. You're like. And then also, like, 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 Yeah. If you using a flashlight, you, like, you, you should always have a rapist. No, you, you have to yell free cookies. Free cookies. Start. Let's start it. <laughs> the shared territory of Cologne has held peace for centuries after the Arcane War. The region consists of four large countries and a wealthy central province that is a shared territory where diplomats and citizens meet, politics, and discuss international matters and affairs. Surrounding the central province is an international highway that aids in ensuring speedy and safe travel amongst the countries and their cities. Before the time of the Great War, the countries have divided into relatively unequal quadrants, of which have been given individual sovereignty and are free to pursue their own interests. The quadrant to the northwest has fluctuated power for some time. It is, it, its power structure has changed hands between a dozen parties before being taken over by the Federation of the Knights have formed an extraordinarily tight governmental system that keeps that keeps their country in check and is compromised of highly dedicated, specialized fighters and warriors. There are few leaders for the large land, and each actively take part in the nation's affairs to keep themselves familiar with the people, and to keep themselves familiar with the people, 
and to rule as justly as possible. Their country, F-R-O-N-K, stands for Federational Rule of Nameless Knights. <laughs> well, this is the first time you've heard that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I still love it. <laughs> Federation. Federational, Federational Rule, rule of, of Nameless Knights. Knights. You'll hear it a thousand times. Like <laughs> I have already. Yeah. <laughs> Those who are in power... God, stop making me laugh. Those Sorry. who are in power are not known, thus to enable them to walk freely amongst the lands and the people whom they so love. Our journey begins in Tronk, in the large city of Ohi, on the western coast. Ohi? Ohi. O-H-I. And Cologne is C-O-L-U-N-E. City on the coast? West coast. I'm pretty sure it's on the East Coast, or closer to it. East Coast? I thought you said. So, in Ovi, this year's festival has finally arrived, and the excitement in the air is simply electrifying. The locals have dubbed it, have dubbed it the festival, have dubbed the festival the Deluge, to signify mass pouring in of various cultures and wares. The Deluge? The Deluge. People from Cologne, and beyond, from Cologne and beyond travel to sell their wares and to purchase that of others. Ships from overseas have requested permission to dock and are approved for very specific times. Should the time frame be missed, the ships are not permitted to approach and must reschedule for next year. Hmm. The city of Odi consists of many two-floor, Tudor-style buildings and some larger buildings for food processing and other type, types of businesses and taverns. Surrounding the trade center, these buildings are simple homes that line the, the bustling, sandy-colored cobblestone streets. The outer edges of the city are surrounded by a tall, gray, defensive wall with large gates for entry and exit, which separate the locals from some distance of desert-like surroundings before hitting the distant outer tree line. <coughs> Upon these walls are the Franck patrol teams armed with the best weapons and arms the country can provide. <laughs> 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 Many of which are provided through government contract at this very yearly festival. The blues and silvers of their banner shine forth on their armor, giving hope to the many they protect. Near the center of town, there is, there is normally a large open common place, usually reserved for town criers, walkways, and things like that. Every year at this time, it goes through a metamorphosis to become a, the bustling trade center of the entire country. The salt-scented air is acrid in smell and provides a fresh sense of renewal for those traveling from the deeper parts of the continent. Approaching the newly stained and refurbished, dock, refurbished docks is our first adventure. Fresh off the boat, the Oblivion, Prylus enters the city. And so you can like go ahead, however you want to walk off the boat, and then describe what you look like in your character. Okay, I'm going to pull up my uh, Hero Forge thing to see you guys have an idea. Um, Prylus is a human fighter. Actually, I might just have it on my phone. Hold on. Um, sorry, guys. Can I see your 20? Oh, the same way. Oh. Actually, his is heavier. Way to dice, John. Um. Shit. 
I'm not gonna tell you what it is. The jungles of Nam. Uh, worse. But yeah, so he walks off, kind of saunters in, kind of looks like he doesn't want to be there, but he's there. What's he wearing? He's got, well, this. Full armor. It's chainmail, but I think the, uh, the mini has splint. Are you actually wearing chainmail? Yeah, it's chainmail. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess when he walks, he kind of jingles a bit. Your sword. He has a two-handed sword. It's a great sword. Um, what else do I have? Uh, yeah, he's he's stacked. Like he looks like he's there to like for combat. Like, he's got a lot of gear. Well prepared. Next ship to dock is the Wind Waker, carrying a very noble-looking high elf. So. <laughs> Accompanied by a deckhand clumsily carrying her belongings. Stepping foot on the dock, she is greeted by the front guard as they ask as they ask without looking her, looking at her. Welcome to Ohi. Welcome to Frong's name, please. Uh, excuse me? Yes. The name is Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Dracosian. <laughs> Don't forget it. Sylvia D-R-A-C-O-S. He just gets really nervous, like looking at you. N. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, of course, Mr. Crozen. The deluge bids you, bids you its greetings. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so before he just kind of like, like makes a quick note, steps to the side, and does a slight bow with a gesture towards the city. Proud of us. You continue to wander on with your own like deckhand. Yeah. <laughs> she just walks right. He yeah. just, you know, he's got a bow. <laughs> Bless you. you. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, and the outskirts wandering to one. To one. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Bless you. Good lord, man. I'm so happy that I'm sneezing. <laughs> Primus falls off the deck and dies. No! He <laughs> <laughs> rolled roll two ones! ones. Yeah. He rolled roll four ones! It says it in the game, it happens, bro! <laughs> and then he comes back, he's fine and dry. <laughs> On the outskirts, wandering toward town, wandering towards town is a very old man in tattered mage clothing, carrying a, veather, a very thick leather bound book. He approaches the guards, looking very confused. He explains his name is Rufus. He came from the forest that way and is trying to figure out what the strange symbols in his head mean. Oh, that yes. Way. That, that way. Because, um, these figures, have you seen them in my head? Have you seen this before? Have I seen them um, before, sir? Where am I? Yes, Port Town Ohi. Ohi. What is your business here? I, I, he just looks so tired and just like, God, another one. I don't know. Um, he he kind of looks you over like. I came here. And what's I in the book? Been walking in. The, oh, what's um, in the book, sir? My writings and a couple of things that I do from time to time. And he just kind of grabs it from you. And it's he goes through it, and it's mostly it's mostly uh, a language he can't read. Several languages he can't read. <laughs> a bunch of weird symbols that look haphazardly. Scribbled in. Yeah. Alright. It's a uh, foreign language. <laughs> Don't make any trouble. Welcome to Ohi. Next. This is where, this is where Brock would come in. Aww. Oh. One more time. Brachi. You, Brock. Borky. <laughs> The next ship to dock is the La Al Sam, and from it departs a young half elf named Eldar. Again. <laughs> what you wearing? Um. What you doing? <clears throat> it's always so nerve wracking to reveal your character. I was like nervous. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, we're like skull buddies. Skull buddies. <laughs> I'm not happy with the gloves going to town. It's all yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna walk up. Not, if they ask me questions, not even answer. Just walking by. Okay. Okay. <laughs> walking by. Just give him a glance. What the fuck is it? But it's all just, black. So the guard just walk like watches you walk by. There's another guy who comes off the boat behind you who just like hands him the roster. Just wanna see. I will 
Sondheim. Goldar? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Great. Just kind of marks it off. Hands back. Moves on with moves on with their day. They're all this is the yearly thing, they all know what they're doing. So, as each of you first enters the town and begin wandering around, the first thing you notice is the larger than normal presence of guard than where you than what you're probably used to in most towns. There's there which are usually far and few between, if not absent, and you see a lot of guards. There's plenty of them around. They know that this is like the pride of the nation. It's a big part of their trade, so they make sure to protect it. So uh, yeah, and, and the, like as the guards walk by you, it's, it's very friendly, you know, they're like, hello, like, how are you? And you see a lot of them conversing with the people, and none of it's, like, heated. Um, it, it all seems very friendly, like the people really, really trust their local uh, protectors. These are the Frank Knights? The guard, yeah. Um, they're also called the Sentry. Okay. But so I will ask. Alright. Ah, clips! For, uh, perhaps, like, a case. Poisoning with the. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So if anything, if you want to use that. I'll remember that, because I actually meant to bring sticky notes so I could <clears throat> post the order of combat. I have sticky notes upstairs if you wanna. I even have the little ones where like like these were everyone can be a different color. <laughs> Keep in mind. Okay. Color coordination. Okay. Vape uh, So with the guard and you guys are mostly each on the opposite end of town and with different with different groups of people. The you, you and you are all on the west side of the house. Us three? Yes. Because okay. you guys are all on you guys are all off the boat, yeah. So you're not all in the same dock, because um, the docks are pretty big and there's multiple. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if it wasn't all that crunching. Dissed. <laughs> 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 Dissed. <laughs> so you're, you're actually in the east side of town. You're closer to the trade center than these guys are. Uh, Damn. And, and so the day is yours. Hmm. There's a bustling festival, you don't have to stay in the city, there's nothing outside the city, but you don't have to stay. What would you all like to do? For those of you, this, for this is your first time, which is all of you. I am without a coin. There's not much that I can choose to do. Is there like a tavern where they have like job postings? Um, not in the taverns, uh, you're gonna have to... How about, alright, uh, I approach a guard. Um, okay, so, he's just conversing with the, with the person who's also asking questions, like, oh, I'm new here, like, you know. Yeah. He goes, and he goes, yeah, it's, it's right over there, you know, go forward about 30 feet. And then yeah. they wander off. Yes? So, are there any events going on tonight? Any events? It's a festival, my boy. What do you What do you mean? Are there any what's, events? Of course, there are events. What's What's the agenda for for the day? Well, joy and merriment, of course. It's the deluge. Have you not been here before? I'm not. Well, then let me be. Is this your first time in Ohi? Yes. Keep in mind, you're looking at a guy with like a skull mask. Dude, this is the this is the port. It's called so the deluge. So there's just a bunch of fucking weird people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just like look. Deluge. <laughs> deluge is, it means like. Like yeah, massive like a downpour. Yeah, so okay, it's it's the deluge of cultures. So All right, he's, so uh, he's seen a thing or two. You know, this this particular guard is. Uh, so I'm I'm like taken back by how like friendly you're being to me because I'm used to being like looked at like weird. Like, does my appearance not frighten you? You look alright to me. This goes a little weird, but I've seen weirder around here. <laughs> Why? Is there any? And he gets real serious in it. There's something I should be worried about with you. No. I was actually offering my assistance for tonight. Excellent. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, sir. Now, were you looking for, would you care to peruse the local trays, or are you looking for a drink? Looking for work. For work, I see. Well, there is There's nothing to make. So, so you're on the east side of town, uh, actually by the guards. I thought I was on the east. We're almost here this afternoon. Yeah, we're on the east. Did I not say it was? 
Did say, I worked on west. Wind you still are on the west side. Did I not say that? No. Oh, no, you did. You're good. You said east. east. So we're west. Yeah. We're east. If you're off the boat, you're on the west side. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> so you're yeah. So you're just okay. right off the docks to the west. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, well, see, if you go straight down this walkway here, go forward. You'll hit the dollar. You'll hit the markets. Just ignore all the sellers. If you aren't here to buy something, it's okay. Go uh, go a bit to the left. Go north, and you'll see the quest board. There is a quest board. Okay, so I make my way to the quest board. Okay. And I'm thanking. Yes, please. Have a good time! <laughs> I love this guard. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll take you like, it's like 15 minutes. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to approach a guard. Okay, and so this one, he's a bit more tired. He was, he's been up all night. Okay. Groovy guard. Excuse me. Where can I go for a place to stay? For sleep? No. <laughs> to invite a partner? Yes, for sleep! <laughs> you guys kind of like that. Yeah, okay, well, we have two taverns here. We've got the old, we've got the old souls, and that's, uh, that's a bit to the east and a bit to, if you go down this way, and it's, it's actually quite down at the same time, you just put it down, but. Me? Yeah. Okay. Go this way, you'll hit the market, go left. Now all the people are trying to sell you something. If you're not here to buy something, keep going. Go straight. You'll hit. You'll hit the. the, the, the uh, Is this one nicer than the other one? He like thinks for a bit. The other one's Steely Dan's. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Old soul <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So there are two taverns, and he he kind of describes them like. There's Steely Dan's, and then. And there's the old souls. All right, well, I'll make my way then. Thank you for your assistance. Have a good time with the rest She walks off and that little kid's back there carrying her back hand, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, little kids. She, she had, uh, she had a sort of clumsy, yeah. Yeah. Like, of course, he's carrying, it's like the, the, the stereotypical, like, huge chest, ten things stacked up, oh, okay. wobbling. Oh, gotcha. He's yeah. trying his best. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> it's still him, it's still him. Yeah. So there's a number of people who are all seemingly going towards the same thing if you want to follow the flow of the current. Um, you notice to your to the left, which would be the southernmost side of the city, you can see the wall behind all the, the buildings. Um, they're relatively up kept. They're a little they're a little beat up. Um, that would be the guard quarters. That's where the guard stays, uh, when off duty and otherwise, I guess. Um, Security freaks out here. Yes, and then on the on the other side of your walkway is just <laughs> normal looking. Just tavern. Yeah, tavern style, not tavern, but living spaces. People walking kind of in and out of each other's houses. It's very friendly. People are welcoming strangers in, inviting them in for a drink. You know, asking them where they're from. <laughs> um, and so uh, you you can make your way to the center of town and. Bad house, this is. Am I bumping into people? <laughs> you. Ooh, the dirty unwashed. <laughs> exactly. The great unwashed. <laughs> no, most people, so they're pretty clean, uh, just because this is like the time of year to show off. I just want to make sure I'm not running into any miscreants. No, so you're giving off a general air where it's like people are mostly just kind of like stepping to the side. You know, you, you, uh, the kid behind you is getting bumped to hell. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't care he's, about he's him. He's not dropping anything. Though. He's, he's a good it. servant. Yes. I must say, the music in the mood is taking me out. Cast dancing lights and have the orbs dance around and the children to light them. Just anyone who's willing there, to look. There are not a lot of children around. Mm -hmm. uh, it well, seems like mostly. Uh, it's more of like, like an adult theme. Teenagers. Thing. There are kids. There are kids. Some people yeah. do have their kids. It's not like they're abandoned. No, no, it's not something you see every day. If you get a good impression of 
Christ more than just the children. Right, well, a dancing light in your face is certainly out of the ordinary, so most of the people are like, ooh. We'll just make them do patterns and swirls and a small performance. Yeah, and you hear some people like quietly like, doing that, like, ah, 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 but. And, like, there's a guardsman on the corner who's. Who, not the same guard, no, he's looking at the lights, and he's like, looking around, and he sees you waving. Hey, Mike. And he puts two and two together, and he's just, he's just watching you. I'm not doing anything suspicious, yeah. merely just to have what I am. Yeah, he's just watching. Mm -hmm. And you, you see him, like, you see him seeing you. He waves back. And so, yeah, most of the people are just kind of, like, following, just watching him. Some people, like, are, like, <laughs> just, 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 just incorporeal. Just, yeah, right. And, yeah, it's one of those things where it's, it's like a dog trying to catch a laser, where it takes him a brief second. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I didn't get it. Don't have object permanence. Right. Oh, my God. Okay, so, uh, Frylis, you do find your way to the quest board. Neato. Right now it's pretty barren. Um, the only things are like fable quests where you can kick the chickens back in the coop, just so for <laughs> copper. Whoa! Okay. I want that quest! Chicken chaser! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking quest, fuck, dude, god. Fuck. Yeah, so you can try and <laughs> kick them through. Okay, and get so, <laughs> I'm looking specifically for like, like protection and like, monster killing quests, so if I don't see that, I'm just kind of like, no, it's it's very small okay. scale. Like, so I just I kind of ignore it's like handiwork, like need like the people need help a little bit more help upkeep with upkeep. Okay. Um, but no. Okay. So yeah, and, hmm. I guess I had to steely dance. <laughs> you don't know what that is. Oh, fuck, you're right. Um. All right, I head back to the guard that I met before. Yeah. I just like shake my like. God damn it. And then I just walk back. Dude, I'm totally like that though. Like, if I'm driving and I make like, a okay, wrong turn, fuck me. I'll go all the way back <laughs> yeah, so I know where I am. <laughs> I do the same thing. So yeah, I go back. I'm bad with directions because my intelligence is seven. Okay. So. <laughs> so you kind of find your way there. You make your way back to the market where you get kind of flooded with, like, hey, I'll let you go until you buy a chapeau. And I just like, I just shake my head and brush every, like, all that off. <laughs> yeah, like, no eye contact, like, I can just, like, a fucking, like, steal. So, yeah, so he just, so goes right, cool. he just goes around to the next person. Hey, you want you, and you hear Pana Pana, well, let's go. <laughs> and, uh, so you're about at the Old Souls at this time. Um, so entering, entering the Old Souls, uh, this tavern is very well lit. It's very lit and very clean. It, I mean, it's midday, but, it, there's, like, they put way more effort into keeping this one nicer um, than, prob than probably most random taverns you just wandered into. Um, the, wood on the, the wood on the tables and chairs is clean and recently stained. Uh, it looks good, smells good. Uh, they show surprisingly little wear. And the, the other patrons, there's about four or five of them, just really enjoying the atmosphere. People watching, it's just a good day. Uh, there are a couple dwarven women women acting as waitresses for the table, two of them, uh, in the process of, of, handling, of handing out orders, um, working with the bartender. The bartender is very tall, very thin, uh, with sort of dark storm cloud skin. Uh, he's got very long, wiry black hair that falls behind his back, and his eyes are just entirely white. So, uh, Okay, so he looks he looks kind of tough, like when he's like cleaning with just a mug. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, all right. Oh. But yeah. Oh. So, but yeah, upon approaching him, his voice like takes you back for a second. Oh, hi, welcome to the old souls. What can I do for you? <laughs> well, well. And he, he's like seeing your guy like. <laughs> <laughs> like the voice is linking and he's drowning. Um, is he all right? Oh, he's fine. He's uh, got my stuff. I need a room. All right, let's we, we can and a drink. Very well, we can do that as well. We can bring your drink up to your room if you like, or we can, you can take this over table with one of our fine waitresses, one of the best in town. Pride of earthy they are. Oh, well, I'd like to go sit down and meet some townsfolk. It's my first time here, so. Well, let me be the first to say welcome. To Obi. I hope you enjoyed the deluge. Yeah, uh, sit wherever you like. Uh, Amber, Amber will be right with you. I appreciate your help. 
and you see sort of like he like writes on your tab like one drink and that you want a room. Yeah, how much is it? Uh, rooms here are nine silver a night and uh, five copper a drink. Okay. So we'll just say that you pay up front. He can give you change or something with two silver. Okay, we'll do that. So there's nine silver on it, plus one copper, or one silver for five. Yeah. Four gold pieces, same change. Okay, so if I take away a gold piece, I have 24 gold pieces. Yeah, you'll, 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 you'll get five copper. And I'll have five, okay, 24 gold pieces. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, and so not very, long, not very long goes by where one of the waitresses buses some of the dishes in the back, and, and then she looks at you and looks at the bartender. And he hands her a drink and she walks over you. Hello, I'm Amber, I'll be your waitress. And she's, she's very soft spoken, frizzy blonde hair, uh, dwarf, hair pulled back into a bun, very soft facial, facial features, um, typical waitress outfit, like right. for what you'd expect at <laughs> the times. Pardon and, me. Yeah. Thanks, lovely. Anything else I can do for you? This should be good for now, unless you have any townsfolk gossip. Bianca. <laughs> and she kind of rolls her eyes, and then as soon as she says Bianca, like the kitchen door slams open, wham, and just jiggles her. Oh no! This is another dwarf waitress, very low cut shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy red hair, braided, um, two braids, uh, like top to bottom, like going down, like mid, like mid back. She has like arm like greaves on, like metal mm -hmm. and <laughs> who asked for gossip. She looks around and Amber just kinda of goes like I'm gonna grab Amber's hand like, never mind, I forgot I didn't ask, it wasn't me. I'll redirect you elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no one said gossip, Bianca. I know I heard gossip. Who <laughs> said it? No, she what room she wanted. It was a toss-up. It was... <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Go... Go back to the kitchen. And she just kind of saunters over her way to the next table and, <laughs> and starts flirting with some of the other patrons like, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Mm. Welcome to the way. Let me help you. I appreciate it. Okay, so uh, about this time, you'll make it back to the... to the... <laughs> Guard by the port. You look familiar? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, like <laughs> wasn't much on the quest for. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, there's a festival going on if you wanted to go to the festival. <laughs> but he has no idea how to act. Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> Most I'm people to... ask and leave. I'm trying to ask You came back? back. <laughs> well, okay. So I asked him about. Did I ask him about the tavern yet? No, you just okay. asked where the quest board was in the left. Is there <laughs> like a gathering place, a tavern of souls? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Uh, we have two. We have the Old Souls, which is where most people like to go. It's very friendly staff. Um, affordable prices, nice rooms, well lit. The staff is very friendly. He's <laughs> 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 like, and then uh, there's Steely Dance, which is. A tavern. I like pick up. I pick up on that, and I ask him where, where Steely Dan's is. Ooh. Yeah, I just go go back the way you came, but not in an offensive way. And and uh, <laughs> you don't actually you don't actually pass the old. So, so you go back to the quest board, but instead of turning down that road, you go the other way. You pass the old soul. The ruse, I would recommend it. The staff is very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> and just keep going that way and. You'll be awfully close to the sheets, but you'll have to be dance. All right. So I just, I don't even like say anything after that. I just walk off towards Steely Dance. <laughs> like no like acknowledgement of what he said. Yeah, he, he's picked up on you by now. He's like, yeah, okay. And he moves on to the next person. <laughs> uh, so uh, Rufus at this time, you're in the middle of the festival. 
stands all over the place. Everybody's buying stuff, swapping stuff. So it's, it's very loud. It's one of those things where it's like if, if everybody was not talking, if everybody wasn't already shouting, they wouldn't have to shout over the person next to them. Well, yes. I, I can barely hear any of this anyway. <laughs> so it's, it sounds like whispering to you. But it's a, it's a nice whisper, because you don't hear whisper through it. It's a roar. Yeah. It's been so long since I've been around people, I'm just relishing myself at this time. And then the guy stops you. Hey there! Won't let you go until you buy a chapeau! Oh, my boy, I'm covered. Thank you very much. Alright, well, have a good day, sir. Oh, yeah. And you, you, you walk away. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear it at all. So there, there are several, there are several stands in front of you. Some of them have flags, other ones have those like used car lot streamers. Um, mm -hmm. But they're the, the silver is from the silver is from a prop um, instead of very white and blue. So I suppose I'll try my luck again, and uh, I shall put another guard and make my way to the edge of the madness before me and try and find one in a more isolated place that I can hear better. Okay, so this is a dwarven looking oh, guard. Um, but he's <laughs> wide. He's very wide. <laughs> oh, he's approached by this old man. Huge mall on his back. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I'm looking for a place where an old man can find a board for an evening, perhaps a work for a room. <laughs> Looks you up and down. What's in the book? Oh, just my own texts. Studies. He backs up. You're just getting weird eyes today. <laughs> right. Like like a skull mask doesn't throw him off, but an old guy walking around with a book, <laughs> with a book is weird. It's like, yeah, well, all right. So you're uh, you're actually very close. So he goes <clears throat> right there. Is the old soul. You get on that way, you'll hit the sheets district. You don't want to be there, and pretty close to that will be Steely Dan's. No, it's cool. I would, I personally, I would recommend the old souls. You believe they'll let me work for a room? What are the odds? Maybe it's Steely Dan's. <laughs> uh, so, uh, forgive me, I don't, I don't send you there to work. <laughs> he like <laughs> the old souls. You won't work. Ask the bartender the old souls, and maybe he's got something for you. It's probably much worth it, I guess. All right, I do appreciate that. Um, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I shall um, head that direction. Thank you. Which are the festivals? You may nod, and wander off. Breaks contact with you. Kind of the way he points it. Keeps watching. Okay, uh, so <laughs> you're going to see the dance. It took me a second, like, wait, why have we gone back there? Like, like, you know, he's wandering, wandering around, around, around stolen one. Like, you can pick a direction, and I can probably do something with that. No, it's aimlessly. Aimlessly, <laughs> okay, I'll still do something with that. I'm not sure. sure. <laughs> so, I'm just taking, taking it in right now. There's a, there's a festival going on. You see what's going on here. I feel like you're walk, walking the opposite way of where all the people are, though. It's possible. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Brylis, you're actually going to... Uh, you're gonna bump into a very dark hooded, aimlessly wandering figure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very close to Steely Dan's, it's about where you hit him, but okay. you just kind of. Oh. Watch where you're going. I'm gonna just take my staff, because it's my, my arcane thing, and I'm gonna do that with Skull and I'm just gonna wave him off with it and just like push him away with my staff. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> just continue walking. There's, there's like a group of like old women like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that one? <laughs> 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 they look like, uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? Did you all quit? You all kill him there. Okay. I, I'm not trying to start trouble, so I just kind of like. No, you're ba you, you basically ran out, ran into him like two doors. Okay. Um, and you know it's Steely Dan's, it's very greasy, very dirty, yeah. um, just from the outside. Yeah. Are there like, like very few people there? There's like one person there. So it's probably the direction I would go, right? Since it's away from everybody. 
just wandering upon it, you'd probably be like, what's that smell? It's fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> so it's up to you. Is that Kevin now? Voice. Is that how he sounds? The Grinch? He has a Grinch voice? <laughs> <laughs> you can be the Grinch. Dude, please. You want me? Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Grinch. Yes, you are. Okay. Well, so, do I go I, I go in? Okay. Is it locked? Yeah, no, it's it's just an open door. There's okay, so I go in. in. Oh. Um, so, it's pretty empty. Uh, there's a few patrons doing that thing where it's like, in every movie where somebody finishes uh, finishes a drink, <laughs> <laughs> slam the table, throw some change down. Okay. Um, there is a bartender. He's he's very light purple skinned, um, pretty jacked, and okay. he's got two large horns from here going up like that. Um, he's got a very thin tail, just kind of going back and forth behind him. <clears throat> and no discernible people is uh, bald behind the horns, and he's got a very, um, he's got softly pointed ears over a pretty stern face, like he's just tired of people all the time. Salty stupid. Alright, so I walk up to him. Yeah, so he's dirty shirt, an apron oh, that might have been so green once. No. And he's He's just kind of wiping down the bar. He, he, like, you look at the bar real quick, and he's mostly just shifting dirt around. <laughs> oh. And he's... Do he's, a good job, but... Oh, shit, what do you want? Hold on. I need to find my gold. How much, are, how much is a drink? Pretty cold, huh? Is it like... Yeah. Is it like visible that that's the price? Alright, so I just slammed down like... He just, he just spits a price out at you. Okay. So three what? Copper? Three, three copper. So I just slammed down three copper. I don't say anything. Alright, and you, you basically get a warm cup of piss. It's beer. Yeah, you can drink it, but... You can... Well, okay. It's Manny Light. <laughs> yeah, so you throw that down oh, without even like looking at... Without even really turning around. He just... He pulls a, a uh, mug from under the bar and just does one of these. I was hoping no one's gonna end up there. <laughs> yeah, and just, I just like spit all over my tablet. And sits in front of you. Alright. Goes, um, goes back to shifting dirt. I kinda like raise my mask up a little bit. He's, he's looking at the Start copper. drinking a beer. Unfazed. Puts it in his back pocket. Wait, puts what in his back pocket? The copper. Oh okay. Yeah, he puts it in his pocket. Keeps you hear some clanking in the in the back like dishes are being done. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like lazy cleaning. It's like smashing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, like, you, hear, you hear a couple dishes break. Shh, it stops. Right. Dishes are done. <laughs> <laughs> just like sweeps them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's salvageable. It goes back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I keep sipping the piss beer. Um, <laughs> yeah, so oh. the, the faces you saw, you well, like, but you're not exactly I'm so right. tough that like I don't give a fuck. Oh my god! Okay. Oh. Well, I've that's been in a trunk, a hot trunk. That's like how I take. That's how I take my beer. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sipping it, Please. and I'm like, now that my mask is off, like the bartender can see it. I'm like looking at him, and I just say, I'm looking for work. You? That's what I said. Yes. <laughs> Wait, just fucking fucking man. Man. Oh god! I just fucking. <laughs> I'm looking for money. He goes like this with a fucking thing. He goes like this. He goes like this with a rag. Like he's still looking at you. Just goes like this, and the dirt just and goes right back to wiping the table. <laughs> All right, so I get the vibe. He's probably gonna want me to pay him for talk. And I remember that the one guard said that the other staff was friendly. He's, he, he was like... Definitely insinuating that I should go there. So... Yeah, no, this guy is like... Give me money, I will give you beer. That is the end of okay, it. Okay, so... He's not looking for friends. I get the vibes. I fucking pound this beer, just chug it. Slam the mug down. Mask on. Mask on. No, mask on. And then I leave. He just watches the movie. Mm -hmm. Takes the drink. Puts 
behind him on the counter, and this one little hand just goes. Oh! <laughs> Those like ants like, carry it away. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You, you mean roast you your money yeah. down? And just. <laughs> what was so cool? It was so cool from here. Cause I can't see shit. Okay, so I walk. Is it near? Is it nearby? Steely Dan's like it's pretty close. close. Alright, so it's I like walk. It's a five minute walk. I walk back. back where you came. And you can tell I'm like you, frustrated from walking all over the yeah, fucking you, place. You passed it when you went that way. Okay. You looked very friendly and you. Yeah, that, that's why I'm like pissed. I'm like walking all over town, can't find work, and I'm going to a happy place. I'm like. <laughs> I don't like happy. <laughs> so, Don't we all go to work? So wondering. I mean, so if he bumped into me, and is he entering? Would, would I be walking towards the other group? Steve the ants? No, because that's what he so. does. So that would mean we were going out the other direction. That'd be one way. You don't have direction. Right, but if if he bumped into me, that way. Did he do a one eighty to turn around, or did he continue on the path? Yes. Yeah, so where, where are you, sir? <laughs> We'll say you were gravitating towards the outer edge of the city, mm-hmm. uh, and so he would have kind of been, he wouldn't have shouldered you, but he might have been, you know, looking around for the place he was looking for. You guys were going the same direction, bumped into you, and he just kept going. Okay. Yeah, so if, you, if you're walking towards the end, it's fine. It's up to you. No, I'm going to turn around and go the opposite way. Are you going to see? Okay. Because that's the way he went. So we'll, okay, so we'll say you were just, after that, you were just wandering around, and you actually just, you actually like made it to the wall, and you're like... Just like walking into it like a barrier. <laughs> no, I was like... Uh, turn around, start walking. <laughs> and then you're like, and for this, we'll see, we'll say you saw him come out, and you'll, you know... Do I notice him? Uh... First roll of the game, baby. Woo! Ah! Three. No plus. Plus one. <laughs> no. I mean, it's a festival. It kind of probably be hard to pick. Not not right. So, so that that beer is is you're like, oh, you know, it was probably mostly That's beer. That's distracting aftertaste. Mostly fermented. Probably gone. Chunky, <laughs> like a chunky beer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I know you didn't. You didn't enjoy it. When was the last time those yeah, lines were created? No. Uh, so yeah, so, so you're walking don't towards see it. Yeah, no. You're walking towards the Souls. Okay. okay. Just kind of following him. Alright, he's following me. He sees you and he's just gonna see where you're going. Okay. Yeah, so if that's what you want to do. I'm just gonna follow him. Okay, so yeah. He's like, oh I think I bumped into the guy. I'll see where he's going. Okay. Yeah, was there like a reason though? Or are you just No. Well, he's just like, I think I bumped into that guy. I think I'll follow him. Yeah. Well, I mean you went in a direction away from people. So oh, okay. I'm gonna see. Where else are you yeah, doing? You're go? moving with something. Seen as a loser. Now you're being tailed. <laughs> God. I'm too you stupid to. Re- I can't even perceive yeah. it. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, so right now, you probably finished your drink. Your bus boy is just sweating up a storm. He probably smells, but he's outside. Oh, just gross. doing one of those. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's always up. is behind you. You know, it's it's very nice. No, it's walking up to you. Uh, patrons in and out. Everybody, it, some people seem to know each other. Like, hey, Frank. Hey, Bill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pretty good. You can just man. sit down and enjoy your drink, or you can do something else. I'm going to call Amber over again. Amber. And she's over at the, at the bar. Real quick, over here, honey. Um, what would you recommend I would do in the festival? Any good food? Any sights to see that I must see? Well, um, the, the, the guard quarters are certainly very nice. Um, they, they get the most picky fan this time of year. Uh, they're all shiny with their glorious colors. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, can I put my luggage up in my room? Oh, yes, and I'll, then, I'll uh, get that for you. Oh, I'm just, just, just kind of like two-handed. <laughs> And just starts walking upstairs. <laughs> All right. See you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And if you hear yeah. like your boy Hot outside, test. Just, oh, God, I broke character. And you, you see her. She just kind of kicks the door open, sets it down, closes it, and comes back down real quick. Miss, miss, here's your phone. Here's your key. Come back anytime. Thank you. I'll be out around town looking at those guard quarters you mentioned. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're very nice. And then 
then you hear Bianca. Who's very nice? <laughs> Nothing, Amber! Or Bianca, fuck. <laughs> we got it, we got it. Uh, so you can, there's, there's a... So she would have gestured towards the docks where you came from. Yeah, there's, gotcha. Uh, and you would have seen it coming in. Gotcha. They would have been very sturdy looking buildings that maybe before you didn't know if they were, but now that makes sense and why they would be that way again. Gotcha. Are you good? Hmm? What you doing? I am meant to the old souls. You're in the old souls, okay. And, um... An old man wanders in the Is he entering as I'm leaving? It's happening. Sure. Yeah, so you walk past a very sweaty young boy, just kind of gawking at a, at a young dwarf, picking up all this luggage and just carrying it upstairs. Um, she'd still be sitting down at this point. You can all look at her, you can. There's other patrons here if you want to look at them, too. inspect the interior of the place. 21. Very nice. Very nice tavern. My <laughs> It's excellent woodwork. Uh, there's there's a lot of scuff marks, scuff marks on the floor, way more than than you would see from the chairs or the tables, because uh, those are very easily replaced and painted over. Um, but the tables, the floors, they just kind of. Oh, the poor one went on a bit heavy. That's fine. That's normal. Oh, they're very thick. Thick. Are you saying that to my character? Because <laughs> actually, yes, I do. Excuse. I just, I prefer of nothing. An old man says, "The road to the floors are Oh my God! Excuse you. Amber, Amber is holding the key. I believe you just insulted my friends. Oh no, no, it's not an insult. It's just a matter of fact, dear. You see, mass works in the greatest density of ground. Uh, I mean, no, you are... I mean, no insult. Trust me, it's a bit. He's just an old even man. A compliment, you see. You would have to serve him. <laughs> so you look very lovely, my dear. No. Honey, off the mat, don't you? He just hands you the key. You're a lovely That's young lady, and. Oh, are you making a deception check? I'm thinking of making a persuasion check. <laughs> you see, I do I'm appreciate it. Uh, I'm not such a yourself. I mean, no offense, and only to say that. What are you trying, wait, what are you trying to persuade? I'm Did trying you? to stop her from being so very offended. <laughs> I'm trying to. Okay. What did you roll for that? Uh, 18 plus 3. <laughs> 21. I mean, no offense, I, I do apologize. She yeah. just hands you the key and goes, Bianca will be right with you. <laughs> and she, she just kind of, she like walks over to the table and gets some stuff. And looks at you goes, and then and goes, Bianca, there's a man by the door. He's got a call for you. And she goes, and like lowers her shirt a little bit more. This little deep cleavage and walks over and is like looking at the door. Oh, Hello. I am. How are you at the door? Yeah, you're on. <laughs> so Bianca's looking at you, pulls her shirt back up a little bit. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. What can I get you, honey? Uh, I was actually looking for some work. If you had any around the place, then I could be useful, but I am looking for it. Really. I find myself um, not so plush, you see. Uh -huh. uh, I woke up a short time ago, and I don't know uh, a whole lot of things before that. And, uh, she gets very, like, like old person senile with you. Are you looking for a place to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dear. That would be lovely. You Amber just... Would like, a place to sleep. <laughs> like, I can't believe you're talking to our patrons like that. <laughs> so Bianca is like... I'm just kind of uh, like... Non plus. I was gonna say, do you even notice that like she's like being condescending? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're like that senile. Not right now. No. Was, That's amazing. I'm well, not very socially. Yeah. We yet. have rooms for. Uh, she looks over at the bartender and goes, uh, "Tadriel, what are our rooms now?" Nine silver. Rooms are about nine very nice. Um, she's like, she's 
looking at you like she's like waiting for jingling. Looks back at Amber. Nothing. I thought you said he had a cold. <laughs> Nothing. Amber just Nothing. Just smile. As I said, I would be willing to provide services as needed to this place and would be cleaning or other such. I can. She's very bored of you. Hmm? She's very bored of you. Uh, <coughs> yes, I'm uh, bored. But for bored, I would like to work. Would that be possible, do you think? <laughs> Amber, take this one. Amber's the back. <laughs> She kind of, she kind of gestures you over to the bar, and you know, let me, let me ask Tadriel. Tadriel, is there anything we can do with this guy? Do any money, sir? Uh, I, I was, as I said, I just uh, before I woke up today, I'm honestly not sure. What's Tadriel? You woke up today. Yeah, no, I don't wake up every day. Like, that's just sort of the thing, isn't it? Not. Well, yes, I'm still without usually. No offense, sir, uh, but I think if he is, and no one's ever greeted me with, oh, well, I just woke up today. Maybe I'm taking that. Uh, it's a, I assume it's a very long story, and one I'm not apt to tell beyond, uh, I woke up today. <laughs> but if you have anything that needs done around in the house, well, I'd be willing to work for board. Perhaps in the room. for pain, I guess. <laughs> and in the kitchen you hear, ooh wee, I got room, I got what space was that? in my room. Is that your phone? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you hear it from the kitchen, ooh wee, I got some space in my room, he needs somewhere to sleep. Oh god. <laughs> in Tadra, I'll just go. I turn and then. He like ruffles his room. Yeah, that's that? kind of. That's, uh, Mr. PB. Mr. PB. <laughs> Mr. PB, yeah. Uh, I suppose he'd say okay. I assume he'd be the cook, Mr. PB. Yeah, well, he's more of a pin than a cushion, yeah. <laughs> 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 and he just kind of pops out. Oh, very Twinkie shaped individual, jaundiced skin. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> the tiny, tiny hat. <laughs> Looks you over and goes, ooh, wee. <laughs> goes back in. And he goes, ooh, I, I know that one, never mind. His room's full. No! <laughs> well, if you want, there's a, there's a supply, we've got a supply closet. If you want to keep that in track and organize it, keep inventory, you can sleep in there. I suppose I could think anything. At this point, my lad, I will begin as soon as you tell me where it is exactly. He, like, Shows you to the back. It's there's only to the right. So all my cabinets are pretty much like I would just like that look. They're very open space. Um, st stairs to the right is meet to me as you come in. Lofted uh, walkway, railings, doors mm -hmm. that kind of uh, they're on this side of the wall and the back. Mm -hmm. you, you wouldn't be able to see the back one from here, but you can assume mm -hmm. there's about three doors here, all of them locked. And he gestures you. Under the walkway, where right. there's only one door. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he Perfection. Picks up a checklist off the wall. Goes, just take inventory. Stay here as long as you like, as long as you can. It's accurate. Right. Don't um, steal. Don't steal. We might have Bianca take you out. Uh, back on stage. Back on stage. She's tougher than she looks. She just she she puts on the show. I believe it. <laughs> I will uh, do my best here uh, to keep things in order. I do appreciate the gesture. Uh, I'm still doing yeah. in town. <laughs> yeah, that's the only done in the transition to the after. If I can find other work, I shall compensate you with your coin, of course. But for now, of course, that bridge will come to its end. Yeah. So, he, he just goes around and goes back to the bar. I'll wait till he leaves and I'll just start doing. Taking inventory, summon a couple dancing lights to get some good, you know, 
like just for the sake of it, um, make a performance check. Twelve. Okay. Most of your counts are on. Are on. Uh, your you do not have a very good grasp of looking at liquid con- liquid liquid containing containers and guessing their weight or their uh, size. Mm-hmm. Counts as, uh, so those, those counts are going to be off, but uh, for the most part. All the physical are, counts are correct. Yes, your counts will be fine. Okay. Good. Um, where, where, where are you at? Towards the guard tower. Oh, oh yes, you're heading towards the guard tower. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, so, uh, about this time, you'll, you'll get to Gold Souls now. Yeah. And you'll see him turn in. Tadriel's still behind the corner. He would have just come out from the back. Oh, hi. Welcome to the Old What can I do for you? Looking for work. Let me see. What are you telling me about work? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a tough job. we've got more guard, more guard here than usual. But they need uh, tough guys. I suppose. And he lives behind you a very... Okay, so a very tall, hooded figure walks in <laughs> behind you and goes, Yeah. Welcome to the old souls. And I kind of look behind me. What can I do for realize you? Realize it's him. What can I do for you? I just want a drink. Enough, I guess. Um, you can sit at the table, sit pick your own table if you like. Or... Table is like in the corner. Um, there. So look. So the bartender looking out. We'll sit the door. We'll sit the doors there. She stairs to the left. There are like four tables on this side. The only corner that you'd probably like would be over here, and at the edge of the bar. It's very dank. It's like you, you kind of like put one not very nice looking table with one very dim torch over it. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit at that one, but I'm gonna kick my feet up on the table. Okay. So he's like looking at you. That guy walks over there and just. I'm just gonna sit there with my staff. I've got a skull on the table. Two feet up on the table. It's a skull staff? Yeah, it's because it's my arcane focus. Okay. And he'll be like, alright, and he'll turn around, get a drink real quick, slide it down the bar, and. Can I cast, like, chill and touch on it? Make it chill. Uh, Is that a spell slot? It's a cantrip. Go, uh, I don't know. I'll tell you. Let's cast it and cast damage. Cast damage? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a bus. No, it's a cup. I mean, oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna touch it. Okay, so you just want to roll damage. Roll your damage. I think it's 1d8 necrotic. That's fine. Plus what? I mean, it's, it's plus. So, okay. so you're just gonna kind of swirl your finger in it and it's gonna freeze. And then the whole cup's gonna freeze, and it's just gonna expand from the inside out, and just the cup is gonna break, but you're gonna have a cylinder of a drink. And yes. <laughs> He's gonna, That's amazing. Like he would have heard the. K- 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 you made a fucking. Looked over. And then I'm gonna pull down. Come my, on. I'm gonna pull down my mask, and I'm gonna reveal like sharp teeth, and I'm gonna bite the drink. Wait, you have a mask on? Yeah. What a fucking ninja or some shit. I know, right? You're gonna pay oh. for that. You're gonna pay for that. Hey, Copa. <laughs> Throw a gold over him. Get out of here. And he puts it in the bag and puts it on. And he just, he fills up another one and throws it back your way. Don't break that down. Anyway. So, um, sorry, sir. My apologies. So you mentioned earlier that there's yeah. more guards than usual. I'm like, I'm talking to you as the app. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so. Like, like that we're used to seeing, or like, it's normal for the festival? Normal for the festival, but you're all new to town. Okay, um, okay. So... Hi! Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Hello! Yeah, so you're new to town, but okay. even for most of the places you've been to, because you're very well-traveled, yeah. you, you know, you're seeing the guard every okay. other block, they're passing people, they're very friendly and engaged with with the people around you. Mm-hmm. Um, none in the bar, none drinking. Okay, so I ask him, um, lots of guards around. Yeah. Is there ever trouble here at this festival? Really, I mean, this 
even a spat or two, maybe, at a bar fight. You know, and that's, that's mostly what it's the dance and by the sheets. You know, you know. Oh, I know it too well. And I like, <laughs> I kind of like, because like, and I have like ear breath. And he's, he goes like, <laughs> yeah. just like from behind this like skull mask. Yeah, he's like, you can see the dance. Yo. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, I have this one in my house. And he just kind of hands you a, a, a cup. Okay. And he goes, get that out of your mouth. Oh, have, a seat, have a seat, so just chill out. All right. Um, I sit, I sit at the table next to him, but not, it's not his table, but like, kind of like, cause I'm like, I'm iron cause he's like freezing shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he looks, he looks dangerous. So, okay, I, so we'll say it's his table, there's another table with some yes. people at it, and you're gonna be Okay, table. so I'm, I'm like watching, and enjoying a nice, so, not so piss you look, beer. So you look well around me? Free, not piss beer. You can't I'm tell, not, you can't really tell I'm looking though, cause I have okay. a mask on, but I'm facing you. But when he looks over, I'm just gonna, cause my feet are all sharp and everything. Like, oh. Are you gonna watch him eat the ice? Like little teeth? Like, yeah, sharp and okay. I'm gonna bite into it again, and then I'm gonna jump on it and just smile. But look right at him. Make a perception check. Half elf, half vampire. So you definitely notice him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <man's laughs> <weird. laughs> yeah. Like no, my intentions and everything. You definitely notice him looking yeah. at you. I'm gonna yeah. smile. Both my gold and purple eye light up. Oh. But what did you get for the net twenty? First net twenty of the game. He definitely saw him looking at him. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> totally saw him. Okay. Perception. So do a, and I. And this time we'll say uh, sun's down. Nights really, night, the night lights are starting to pick up. A lot of people, a lot more people are starting to come out. Um, more people are kind of coming into the bar. Um, and uh, the bartender it looks like he's ready for it. I mean, you know, he's kind of he's shifting some things down to here, and you can hear it reverberating through the whole bar. Is there's you can hear a bunch of cops. Um, so it's, you know, he's ready for it. He goes, "Hey, Bianca, get in the kitchen, please." She goes, "Are you sure you're in the kitchen?" <laughs> and Amber, sorry, not. Oh. Poor Amber, she's like, you know, as fuck. So, uh, you'll make your way to the guard tower at this time, and it's, it is very big. It is very big. Guards all over the place, some of them working out. <laughs> uh, what, well, is it like a YMCA? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, it's like a garrison kind of where they live? More like a hard fish. Okay. No swimming pool. <laughs> These are more like guard stations, so like you see like old guard coming in, checking out new guard, coming in like fresh looking, checking in for the night shift. Uh, more guard, more guard than for the day shift. Um, is it like an attraction? That's what I was pointing to as an attraction. So okay. the, it's just cool to be there and like look at. It's cool for the people um, because the the front guard are very they're very personal with okay. with the people in Ohi. Uh, so. They're very open, you know. They don't, they don't really get off, get off, give off an air that they're hiding anything. They're just, you know, they'll talk to you. Like, is yeah. there a guy that looks like he's in charge of things? Oh, he's the perception. Check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Oh, oh, yeah, y'all let's nice. go. Well, nice. Well, nice. Okay, so <laughs> what? your first roll ever. As a player, right? <laughs> yeah, she was oh, the 20. Damn. Oh, yeah, plus four, I guess. I mean, I just figured it's not 20. Yeah. Rachel's the 20. You basically see everything. Yeah, yeah, I see. I need everything. to get that exact set of things. Oh, I wow. see. Rachel's <laughs> more yeah, let's steal the gold. Yeah. So, 20 is you can assume that it's an automatic success. This one, yeah. Unless, unless it, there's a counter roll with 20. But yeah, I do have a plus four. Um, so, there is a guy with a, a notepad who's. Signing the organ out, he's doing like he's really quick with his eyes, just signing people in and out as they come across him. Okay. Some guards are doing laps, like they're warming up. And <clears throat> behind him, uh, sort of in a darker hallway, there's just like there's another guard in the back just watching everything. He looks he sure. looks bigger. Alright. Going for him. Alright, so the guy with the paper. I'm just gonna walk right past him. He was and he, he's writing out. I didn't know I was going to magnetize my pen. Um, so he's looking up down, looking up down, and he goes, stop. I and and all, of, all of the guard, like they all stop. I don't. And he goes, ma'am, please. What? And the guard in the hallway looks, is, is like watching you, like walk up. What is your business here? 
I was um told to come here for some attraction. I just want to see how things are. Are you ready to come for the attraction? Yeah. To throw off my entire schedule now by five minutes. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. five minutes. You can get that back on schedule. I saw you looking back and forth. Man, this is the military. We don't make five minutes. We have five minutes, and that's it. What can I help you with? I want to talk to you. <laughs> Now there's a bit of a line, and they're all kind of like looking around, like what the fuck? This never happens. Can I grab your pass? Uh, okay. is that gonna be like a sleight of hand without him noticing? Grab the pen, or just yeah. grab it blindly, like, or just like, Meh. we'll say sleight of hand to, cause he's moving real quick. Ooh, it's only four. Yes. <laughs> Crack and cracks you over the knuckles. Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he keeps going. Ma'am? <laughs> and you hear the guy in the back just kind of going. <laughs> so you... God damn what? Don't care about any status, I'm assuming? His eyes twitching out. Because <laughs> now there's like a, a kind of a medium line in like, it's like this doesn't happen ever. Beautiful. Because, and so some so of the troop kind of come up behind you like, ma'am, ma'am, please, please. I was told this was an attraction! It's yes, to watch. Stop to disrupt, please. <laughs> well, then you tell me where to find an attraction. <laughs> That's not this shit show! And she's pointing to the line. Uh oh. And so he kind of, like, he's like walking you away, and the guy just goes, SHIT SHOW! <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, THAT'S IT! And now he's like, he's like, DOUBLE TIME FUCKERS! And you hear a collective, oh. <laughs> <laughs> In your stable boy. Not a good start, though. Already causing ruckus. Well, he's never seen like a grand scale, like a look who I am kind of thing out of you. He's just like, I'm not in my territory, so people don't know who I am. No. And so mm. so the, we have one guardsman who's just kind of walking you away. He's like, with this nice family here, and they're all like, hello. <laughs> you, can, you can watch the guard and see how we. <laughs> Go about our business. <laughs> How do I become a guard? Get ready for the day. Uh, you have to be a native born, I'm afraid. And to get to to get to OE service, you have to have you have to have years of service. Well, it looks like this is just great, and this is not an attraction. Well, you're free to watch, man. She's stomping her foot now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh boy! <laughs> and here comes the huff. So, yeah, just a little dust. <laughs> like, it's a lot of dust here. <laughs> it's dust, dust. And, and he just goes, uh, my apologies, ma'am. Um, so what else can I do at this festival besides watch you two sweat around? Well, for some people, that is the attraction. <laughs> and then you see a guy kind of pop his head out of the corner. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yeah, like, Hello. That's the attraction of this festival. <laughs> for some people. <laughs> Alright. And he goes, no, I mean, for most of the locals, you know, this is something. They like to see it. They like to know that we are keeping ourselves in shape to protect them. And it's, it's very easy. I can see I'm losing you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like, okay, well, uh, okay. attraction. I mean, I... Take me around town. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, miss. I'm, I'm doing the check-in. We'll find a friend who isn't. And the other guy Whoa. walks up. Hello. <laughs> Are you do you for check in? I'm not part of the fella. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I like you already. And he what looks, do you do then? He looks at the guard and goes, I like you. And the guard <laughs> and walks away and goes back to check in and the, and the guy who's writing, Did you have a nice visit? <laughs> <laughs> Double laps. <laughs> He just, he doesn't even say anything, he just starts doing, he just starts running. 
And the guy goes, yes. What was your question? Are you black looking at them sweat? Yes. Don't you? I must say my taste must be a little bit more refined. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Tables with only one person at them. Just so where are the open seats? Am I there yet? Oh, doing everything by me. Such hand. So, just and, Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. So, so Amber's back there with you. She's cooking, and she's like watching, like at the same time watching, like 
She's me just just directing these two hands in the air. Just scrub, scrub, rub, rub, dry set. Scrub, scrub, rub, scrub, rub, 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 dry set. Scrub, rub, 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 dry set. She's watching. Meanwhile, Bianca's working the tables. <laughs> oh, I bet she's working and the, the tip, tables. tips all over the place. And Tadrio. <laughs> and so she kind of, she like, like every other table, she'll she'll yeah, give a just handful just... of mixed coin to Tadrio. Like, okay. Puts it to the side, and you hear a big shing shing. <laughs> so um, she's very well tipped. I bet she is. <laughs> oh. Anyway. And so I say to Mr. PB is for having this conversation about her while she's out there. He's out like by the back door smoking. <laughs> and so we'll say you walk in. Mm-hmm. It's very busy, and, and Tadriel just kind of catches you up and says, oh, "Hi, yeah, uh, your room's already stuff should be up there." Emma, did you carry that up there? She yes. got it all. She was very efficient. Yes, I did. Good. Um, can I get you anything? And he's like, yeah, I'll be working a few seconds. Can I get you anything? Um, I think I'm good for right now. I'm just going to try and find a seat and make some plans for my day. He's looking around like, ah. Uh, good luck, miss. <laughs> Thank you. And so most tables, people are either just settling in or they look like they've been there for a while. But it's that weird, like, Panera sit where you just don't know what they're going to do. But, right. Like, you like walk by two or three times and like maybe they leave. Okay. Why is that like the most perfect description? I know. I know. The <laughs> it sit like that is like wow. Spot on. <laughs> so are there any open seats at all? Other than the table, they're both sitting one at once. There's no uh, seats there. There are two. There are two tables. Okay. With one person at them and an, uh. His table does not have another chair. Okay. It's, this, it's a table? smaller table and a like. With you, you'd be like, I wouldn't sit there even if it was open. I don't like it, you know. <laughs> uh, his table, he's still, are you still looking at him? Like, um, I think I, I'm kind of, I mean, he's not done anything since the glass, so I'm just kind of like, he's not dangerous, you know, he's like, okay. I think, for now. So, yeah, so most of the tables are busy, pretty, you know, people look like they're ready for a festival, they're in colored robes, and, like, they're wearing their best. Uh, this is the old souls. Um, <laughs> so there's no seat at all. There, there are two chairs at his table. I'm gonna um, sit down. She sits with you. This will just be for a second. I need to plan my day tomorrow. She just kind of pulls out a piece of paper. I don't, I don't say anything. I just. Bianca comes up. I like Hi, that. honey. What can I get for you? Nothing, thank you. Okay. What about you, sweetheart? And she leans over really far. <laughs> I just, I just like, no, nothing. Oh, come on. No, God. Uh, no. Oh, God, no. Yes! No. I'm not, I don't say, I don't say much. I, like, acknowledge her, like, I'm fine with her sitting there, and I just wave her up, like. All right, honey. Just kind of, like, watching, like, the tavern. Just give Bianca a holler if you need anything, wink. And then she kind of makes way over you. Do you want anything else, honey? And she just like literally pivots to the next table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the guys? board makes it so much better when you move and do stuff. Like, did it do it something? No, like your body was like, <laughs> like <laughs> behind the board. <laughs> and so, and so, it's like a table of guys, and they're all like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper to you. She's a bit overbearing. I agree. And then I, I kind of nudge her. And I point over to Veldar and I say, what do you make of that one? He's just chewing ice. Like, yeah, his, just, beard, his eyes are weird and his teeth are all point, so I'm like, what do you I'm make I'm going to discreetly like, write, my, write my paper and like pretend to like, hold it up for like, a light and like, kind of like, do a quick look over. Bit of a scary one. <laughs> As you're talking to a guy with a skull mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Staff does it for me. <laughs> He doesn't scare me, but I think he might be causing trouble. I'll go introduce myself. What is your name? I'm Sylvia. Price. <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of like, since I don't want to approach him myself, I'm kind of like trying to keep my distance. I'm just going with it, like letting her go introduce herself. Have you met him Stand up and walk over to your 
Do you have a pen? I just shake my head no. Oh, are you mute? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. So I'm you're just going to sit there. Chadriel is, he's like working with other people. Yeah, right. Temple, t- for silver, and he looks over. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just keeps working with people. <laughs> so it's no on the pen. He's saying he's not. You need to tell him. I'm new. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> I'm like, you are not talkative at all. <laughs> well, yeah, Bianca comes over, kind of puts her hand around you. Oh, honey, don't even try. <laughs> Girl, I know it now. <laughs> Good luck getting this from this one. Oh, trust me, honey, I know. And she just, and then she pulls her arm off. He goes back to other tables. How are you boys doing? Yeah. And they're all like, yeah. Like, like everybody, like. It's mm-hmm. a lot of young guys. Moosey, Woo! Yeah, Moosey has their <laughs> coin ready. She's uh, yeah! a fan favorite. Yeah, if, you're, mm. if you want places to uh, see. <laughs> you got some great things to see in this town. I'm going to go sit back down and, yeah, and your table. Looks back Two here. huge attractions. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm done. Oh. That was it. Amber is cooking. Well, that doesn't make sense. He's not, he's not, he's not, yes, he is. but he's just, it is. he's a very tall, <laughs> oh, shit, very tall man. head in a very <laughs> tiny top hat. It so says, cool. ooh, we are. Uh, it's a little on the nose. And he's, he's still smoking, like, like, for, like a ridiculously long smoke. <laughs> no, 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 like the opposite, like, and then just oh. he was waiting by the door. Yeah, he just goes, oh, we eat. <laughs> That's all he says. Like, yeah. That's all I can say. Just yeah. wait. <laughs> so it's it's probably around midnight at this time. Most most of the people have left. There are tables open now if you can do that. If you guys are still at your table. I'm just gonna sit back down at his table and give him the report about <laughs> So you've got a, a pretty large thing of dishes to do now. The the, the bustling hour is, is pretty much over. They're not coming in like they were. I'm just kind of leaning against the stack and uh, <laughs> yeah, and going through the stack. Todd Rail sees you and he's close to me. It's just not a thing to me. I'm just doing it like mm-hmm. Amber's just helpful. Scraping the board. Scraping the whatever works. Whatever the fuck they cooked on in that time, the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. The oven top. Yeah, she's just scraping the thing, getting out all the wood, wood ash. Mm-hmm. Um, Adriel's just kind of waiting by the bars. Most people are cleaning it up, heading out. For you guys, but probably midnightish, midnight time. He's not friendly. I would stay away. Get a bad vibe from him. I'm gonna go back to writing. Yeah. Um, bad vibe. So yeah, I. Adriel just kind of leans over. Uh, it's getting kind of late, guys. Um, miss you. Your room and, uh, and so you two are the only ones who have been here for a while. Everybody else is kind of heading out. Uh, would you two like a room? Please, friends first. Are there any events going on? Or is it like ending with the festival's over? It's like no, I mean, so there's mostly like street parties. Like, well, that's right? what I mean. Like yeah, the so okay. there's nothing House official. Parties. Yeah, and it's probably this isn't party. So you like look outside of it and events. <laughs> You look outside and okay. people are just kind of swapping houses. And, okay. You know, everybody's welcoming each other like old friends, even if they have no idea who they are. Mm-hmm. Um, because mm, people mostly make their own entertainment. Um, and try your luck in one of them houses, but. Uh, how much for a room? It would be nine silver. <clears throat> Put it down. And then just I, nine silver? Yeah. Mark that off. And he, he takes it. Kind of counts it real quick. All right. Hands you a key. Welcome, welcome to the room, sir. Thank you. And then I go up to the room. And he looks at you. Room, sir? I'll take the smallest room. Uh, the same size. Yeah. <laughs> and then he kind of shows how small this room is actually taken. <laughs> 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 That's good. I've got the yeah. Harry Potter. 
Oh, so sweet. <laughs> you too. HP. And two <laughs> bites of your strongest. What are the strongest? The second step. Oh, fuck you up. He, he <laughs> fills two pints with uh, a darker drink than what you had before. Not mm, frozen. Fire water. Yeah. Um, just. Cook <laughs> that match your fire water. I'll be silver. <laughs> just hazel? Hazel. Because actually, you know what? No, you paid me a gold. You, you're alright. And uh, here's the key. He just hands you the key, hands the drinks. You want to take the drinks and go up to the room. Okay. So, um. And then you said there's a bathroom that like went down to the bar, right? But, uh, a lot, yeah. So there's railings, so you can just kind of. Can I yell down to you at the bar? You can try. Is there breakfast in the morning? Oh, Up here. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, thank yeah, fresh, you. Fresh, fresh, fresh eggs and bacon. Right, straight about Tina's head. Perfect. I'm going to go up there. Right. And so he kind of watches you, like, close the door. <laughs> And and you went upstairs. Yep. Okay. And you you went upstairs. I'm not even finishing that in the kitchen. <laughs> I've been kind of taking a bit of scrap here and there from a plate. I'm <laughs> just sort of eating. Oh God! Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I like those cheapskate. Oh no, no, why? I just imagine him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly <laughs> awake. <laughs> and I feel really well rested. He'll come in with a, a roll when there's on this. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's your bed. Just go in the back, make yourself comfortable. I'll make you a plate of food. Don't worry. Yeah, you don't want to be eating scraps around here. Totally yeah, it's, kind of you. it's like the nicest bartender ever. Yeah. No, yeah, so like this is his, this is their time of year. Like, yeah. You know, like every, They're super hospitable. everybody will recommend you come to the Old Souls. Mm -hmm. um, and so, fuck. And so he will, you know, he'll go the extra mile and so will the doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we know that. So we'll we'll say that um, you got your tire for the night. You are all in locked rooms. There's nothing particularly um, crazy to go for. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, it's about one o'clock at this point. So. Okay, cause I don't need to actually sleep. Oh, you don't? I'm an elf. She has a trance. trance. Yeah, for four hours. All right. So. I'm trying to pick up my clothes! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and so, uh... What happened to your stable boy? I don't, I don't keep track of those yeah. Oh, he does not keep track of where he belongs! Yeah, He's dead. So he can fucking get kidnapped or some shit. Yeah. As long as he comes back at night time or, like, sleeps in the stable, I can find him the next day. Like, he's fine. Okay, he so... He does what he wants. In, in the morning, he'll knock on your door. Perfect. In... I'll open the door. Is Sylvia? Yes? Uh, it's, it's about 9 o'clock, miss. Uh, it's fresh food being made, if you're hungry. Um, is there anything I can do for you? Why don't you go grab the plate, uh, take some of it for yourself, and then leave oh. the rest for me. Thank you, Sylvia. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Sylvia, and... <laughs> Scurries down. <laughs> food! <laughs> and Todd was like, what? Food! <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> food, sir! I'm sure we still have woke up before I was to get in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, we'll say you're already up and cooking. Um, I just picture him with like an apron that says like... Uh, Kiss the chef. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss the whiz. Kiss the wizard. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a weird one, but like spells it out. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's in the runes. It's Osho certified. It's Osho approved. Use your fucking wizard hand Frog and just like move it. your beard and like kiss the wizard. I got plastic gloves on my wizard hand. Yeah. Like bright <laughs> yellow. <laughs> yeah. It's like Dexter's mom. <laughs> Man's trophy. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. If I had one! So, if I had each, one. each of you guys wake up to a fresh day. The streets are once again filled with energetic people. Bustling again, mostly around the Trade Center. Uh, there's some new there's some new wares. Uh, it looks like for, for them, uh, mo a lot of people come around with novelty things, like little front flags and <laughs> tiny front guard oh. dolls. Oh, so yeah. festive. Yeah, yeah there's, there's more kids out right now. Than there were. Um, so you don't sleep. Um, so you're overlooking the street mm -hmm. out of your room. You have to be out the corner. Um, so you can just kind of be looking around, and you can smell the food cooking. And there's a parade of people going by. There's um, a, a 
medium group, like five or so elvish women, mm -hmm. each with very colorful, very decorative, like satin, hey. like doing a coordinated dance um, going by. <coughs> Um, and oh, you guys can, <laughs> it's about 9 o'clock, you guys can stay in the tavern and eat, or you can go and enjoy the night. Okay, so it's like, as soon as, that you don't have to take this time, like, as soon as you sit down, food, puts a napkin over you, utensils, and like a, like a jug of water. It's a it's a parade. Is it the same one for my back story? I said no, it I mean, it's up to you. No, I I know I paid You're that one day, but I tried to do like someone from the ship or whatever. I can't afford it. You can be Caleb so if you want. Okay. Yeah, if that's how it can be his to be in his manner. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah, he's just kind of like, he's, he's trying to be helpful. Okay. I, I ignore him the whole time. Oh. <laughs> oh. And so he just kind of puts it on in front of you, like, slices your food like really fucking fast. And he comes back and stands behind you. Did you get enough to eat? Yes, Miss Sylvia. Alright, well, I don't know what I'm doing yet today, so you can go have fun. You've got your money. Obviously, the dad gave him money. So, go have fun today. He's fun? <laughs> <laughs> he's like covered in like shit because he slept in the stairs. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, slept outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I you can have some fun food. What? Why is your age? What? <laughs> he's he's so used to just the family servant. Like, she turns around to him. Don't be. He's, he's straight. Oh, he's a free spirit. Go buy <laughs> some children your age. Play some ball or whatever these children do. Don't be a fuck. Okay. Go have fun. Must have been Don't be so He doesn't know like how to walk, so he just kind of like his arms are really awkward. He just kind of. Here we go. 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 Here I'm going to demand that I get a big giant turkey leg for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> 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 He looks at you weird. So in the reason he goes, uh, six silver? <laughs> and a lot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to change? And he goes, and how do you get good stuff? Like literally anime style reaches behind the window and just pulls out, pulls out a giant drumstick and just goes, here. <laughs> I walk back to my table that I was at earlier. And I sit down and start eating. <laughs> okay, do you want to chill this too? No. Uh, <laughs> I go. Is the breakfast free? Is that because no. she okay. She gave she gave money to the Oh okay, the stable. Uh, okay. You're out. Um, then I, how much is that, the normal, it's five? Alright, I ordered that. You're and coming downstairs and ordering? Yeah, yeah, I, okay. Plenty, plenty of open tables. She's probably, yeah, probably less fast, I'm just like, There's like two tables that are taken. Okay, so I His sit. The corners is now taken. I sit <laughs> aloof and have a table by myself and eat breakfast. Okay, so, well, and, just got some money. so Amber, is, Amber is up now and she goes, oh, hi, honey. No. Okay. I mean, nothing. Okay. So, um, we'll say you sat. Sit, so you're you've been sitting for like ten minutes, maybe, and you 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 and you just sat down. You, Prylas seeing you with the giant chicken wing, he just <laughs> or chicken chicken leg, just, and then Kaylin comes running in. Miss Sylvia, Miss Sylvia, Miss Sylvia. Uh, uh, I, uh, 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 there's a fire. Fire. Uh, all right, let's out, go. Outside, okay, all right. me. And so, running outside, like, you can, like, smell it now. Uh, it definitely mm -hmm. smells like something. Mm -hmm. yeah, so Do we all smell it? You definitely Is it a giant fire? How big is this fire? So you definitely would have heard Caitlin. 
screaming. Okay, so and you would you you all would hurt. I draw I drop my utensils and just run out. Okay. I run out towards the fire. You get a follower. Well, I was just gonna overhear him say that and just run without following you. Okay, yeah. So, um, it's not like right outside you, but the marketplace is sort of like one of them is right next to you. And you can see there's three distinct pillars, and there's like panic. Uh, people are running away from it. The the vendors are panicking, trying to like get the flames down. Mm -hmm. the front guard are rushing past you already. Is there any water? There right now. The, so the front guard, like ten of them, already rushed past you. You can see more coming in from way over the other side. Mm. And um, you can see some are already handling it. Um, some of them are sort of whipping water to try and get it down, while other ones are carefully pushing sand over the fire and just trying trying their best to get it out. Okay. Um, and uh, so you guys were looking for action, but. There is a large number of front guard here, so yeah, there were drunk. yeah there were probably forty of them on the scene before you guys came in so far, okay. and more were coming. Um, so, say an hour goes by, um, and all the fires are out. The, the vendors are like talking to them. Um, the, the the surrounding stalls right back to business. Mm -hmm. They don't even care. They're just you know, you know, one guy. We'll let you go until you buy shit. Well, ah, <laughs> it wasn't his stall that was ruined. No, his stall is stall perfectly fine. <laughs> and it, it was like one of those where he's like, <laughs> he looks over stall. Everything, everything seems to be in order. Oh, do we know whose stall is? You can see him. Yeah, I mean, you're free to walk around. Can I go up to them? Do you... the guy whose stall burned down? Yeah. Um. So for this, uh, you can see. Like, do I see him, like, crying over his burnt-down area, or is he just, like, staying there and, like, so, tragedy? So this, you see a guy who's probably middle-aged. He's got thinning blue hair, a very thin mustache, a widow's peak, blue cape. What? Uh, Keep going. Um, pretty round skull. Very distinct chin. <laughs> I don't keep looking at this. He, he sells general wares. Oh, okay. Blue hair. Relinus. Yeah. <laughs> and he's talking to the guard like, let's shut the brick down. <laughs> Do I overhear this? Like, I ran to just, like, help. You know what I mean? What are his hands doing? Are they doing this? He's like, let's throw the brick down. Now, what do you do to protect me, Frunk? And the guard's like, we got here as soon as we could, sir. The fire is extinguished. What did you lose? And he goes, the sword and the clean wave is going. And the guard's like, you lost something in the fire? No, it's a sword. It's good and bitter, you see. And the guard's like, I think I might be able to see. Uh, sir, what did we, what are you looking for? I had the sword. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You lost a sword? Can't find a sword. Yes. Okay. It is yes. gone. It was here, it is gone. Someone stole it? I think so. And the guard goes, let's let's keep it down. Go no. find that list no, guy, he'll know. That. He writes everything down. Yeah. He just goes, list guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> he just goes. He does the check-ins and check outs. He <laughs> looks very stressed. He's very confused, like, why would I get the check-in guy? <laughs> Miss, I thank you for your help. This, the, the front guard, thank you. We can handle this. I didn't think you were thinking. There's a language barrier. <laughs> I understand. And Bermuda, and Bermuda, is just because. <laughs> <laughs> someone stole a beautiful sword from him. Yeah. It didn't burn down. It can't burn. He right. Did, and I look at it. the yeah, and, and the guard looks at Bermuda. Yes, of course it's true, as I've been telling you. Am I watching? Oh, can I? Am I seeing this? Uh, it's like I, ra I ran. I don't know if I ran like next to them or what. He's the he's the closest one, so we'll say like yeah. So I okay. If, I just, if you ran out, did you run out? I'm following. Okay. I'm just munching on my. Yeah. So you guys are close to each other, but not next to each other. 
All right, so I, uh, I approached them. Did you leave too, or you said anyway? So no, I came out to see what the fire was all about. Okay. So it. You're like really still cooking in there. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fire. Uh, no. Yeah, I came out. <laughs> Good. 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 I was gonna say I want to. Yeah, there's there's a lot around. I can see the guard and I recognize her, so I go up because I can tell that Merlinus is like distressed over something. Yeah, he's. Jesus, how about you go up? Yeah. And the guard's like, sir, sir, please, your hands. <laughs> so yeah. I'll be standing by the cards of doing this. So maybe you, I point to the guard, should be taking notes on this. And he looks at you like. <laughs> Yes, that is an excellent tip. Thank you. And he like goes like this, like we're not caring for that. <laughs> I whip out my notepad. <laughs> I'm taking notes too. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, sir, sir, would you like to deal with this woman? This. Yes. Great. And he walks away to the next room. And so um, you are now alone with Merlinus. You're coming up. And so, and there's like four guards over here, um, talking with each other. So tell me more about the sword you lost. Describe to me the hilt. Describe to me how big it is. I've got my pen out, you know, my little paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. It's blue. Look up. What? You said the vendor's name is Marlinus? Yes. I don't need to write that down. Ooh, I still make sure you're not. very, you're very familiar with me. Uh. <laughs> I'm b -b familiar b -b with b -b him. <laughs> All right, so I think by then I'm like, kind of like joining the conversation, like, kind of ask what's going on. I'm assuming he breaks it down, right? Yes. So um, he'll explain to you with similar hand gestures. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, very Italian here. Is this what's going on? Pasta! I don't know what he is. I don't think, I don't think, I think this is. This is, this is, this is he's Italian. He's, he's foreign. Like, that's... Italian. That's you know more foreign than us, though? No. Just Are we foreign, or is he? Just foreign enough. Yeah, just <laughs> enough. Because they're oh, talking, I would like to ritually cast the type of magic for the ten-minute process. That's a good thing. Okay. Um... So, things are pinging all over the place. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, stands selling things where they, they openly advertise that they are magically imbued. Mm -hmm. um, it's so it seems like it would have a strong enchantment and a run of the mill junk toy, of course. But no, yeah, so if. Uh, I just want to see what's in the area. Okay, so you. How close? At the burned down stall. Oh, so you're very close. Okay. I'm just casting detect magic. Ritually. Give me one second. I am trying to find this fucking item. Cat item. Motherfucking. Mother trucker. Um, so the, the guard is going to come back over to Merlinus and he's, and he's going to go, look, I'm sorry that this has happened. We are currently investigating it. And, um, what was your name, Miss? Sylvia. Okay, Sylvia. We, we have one of our, uh, finest, uh, soldiers here for you. Uh, he's, he's been with us for quite some time. And he sort of, he gestures over to the crew and he goes, all right, bring him in, unit one, two, four, seven, one, two, four. And so out of out of these crowds, you kind of hear, and he goes, this is, seven, this is unit seven, one, two, four, X. 
Uh, we, we name him, we name, we call him Utrex. Oh, it's got a name. That's fucking yeah, no. a name. It's a machine that you gave to Denea. He, he, he just kind of goes like, he's alive. He's a machine, he's alive though. Utrex, introduce yourself. Oh, you're the pirate. Okay. Yes. Um. God, I've been going through this in my, in my head like the entire time, and I was just like, shit. Um, yeah, your introduction's probably like another 20 minutes away, but I, I was feeling really bad because <laughs> I haven't included you yet. It's all you're in now. Oh, <laughs> the improv. Oh. Uh, um. God, I'm trying to think of the voice. Fuck. Um. <laughs> no, I'm not. My doing name's JD. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Welcome. <laughs> hello. You start says hello. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> <Well, it's laughs> flashes across your screen on your chest or something. I I wish I would just like start. I I'd you. get an extra sketch and just like translate for you the whole game. Be boo bop, be boo boo bop, be boo boo bop, boo boo bop. Snark out the lion. He says yes. <laughs> he says yes. Um, alright, so, Unit 7124X reporting. What seems to be the issue here? Well, you scratch, we seem to have a, a sword stolen, was it? Yes, of course it was. You and need the, to listen to that. And the guard, the guard looks down, and there's like something like shining under the stand. And he goes, What's that? He goes, What's a bullet? And he just looks down and gets real nervous. <laughs> That's uh, a dagger, a related dagger. <laughs> Can I go walk over to the shiny thing? Yeah. Alright, do I need to do anything? He goes, oh, wait, wait! And we'll just say you grab it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's like a, a very nice looking mm. curvy sword. Mm. And, mm. and the car wow. just goes. What kind of vibe am I getting off of that? You. Uh, it's just a sword. Oh, it so just it looks very nice. nice. No. And he goes, uh. Is this the missing sword? Yes, you found it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, don't worry. I'm guard, on the case. The guard just instantly. Mm. We don't have time for this, sir. My apologies. I thought maybe I could pull one over you, but. Well, so not good. good sir. You're just gonna walk over, okay? Mm -hmm. And the front guard's gonna go. Who the hell are you? I was in the hearing some of your conversation. I do apologize. This man say his sword. He just goes, you guys, keep the other people back, please. We don't need any more people. We don't need any more, anyone else over here. Keep them back. Roger, Roger. He said the sword started this fire? No, I, I, I think he was just trying to pull a fast one on us. So we would give him money or something. What? He said something it didn't quite the the sword. Sword. It to but it seemed it was hot. Uh, he said the sword was um, worth a lot. I didn't get an actual description of the sword though. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 a very well made sword. I mean, you're not getting anything magical off of it, but it's a, a one handed uh, short sword, mm -hmm. and it's very. Mm -hmm. But uh, leather, dark leather for the grip, silver hilt. It's a nice, deductive look. It's certainly not magical. And he goes, My, uh, I was trying to put it fast for you, I apologize. But uh, I am missing a clerk. I don't believe you, boy who cried wolf. And the front guard, the front guard goes, <laughs> <laughs> to investigate this. What did you lose? And he looks under the stall real quick. What did you lose? <laughs> yeah. It was my best cloak. I could have flame a wave. And he's like, isn't that what you just called the sword? Yes, but that was lying. I'm telling the truth now. Uh -uh. Can we roll a, a check to see if we know he's not lying now? You can roll an insight check. I was actually, I was gonna roll intimidation and be like, if you lie to us, I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, is it because I roll insight checks? Yeah, she can. And then you can intimidate him if I yeah. think. 
I can give you like a yeah a bad vibes look. Yeah. yeah. So no, it's, it's 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 because I'm looking at this dude like this is kind of yeah. shit. So inside check with advantage. So Titans, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. 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 Fif
this Euthrax has it. Uh, so I guess I have to work with the robot. Consider a, 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 a method of our apologies and uh, an extension of our might to aid you in finding the 